Keith Bowen here, Vantech Consulting. Um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about these guys, um, OTDRs, and they come in all shapes, forms, fashions, uh, different manufacturers. You know, you got Anritsu, uh, AFL, Viavi, VX, or VX, um, all kinds of different ones out there. So, but they all do the same thing, right? I mean, they, they're basically putting light down the fiber. The amount of backscatter that comes back, they interpret that. If that backscatter drops, uh, it's a splice. Um, you know, it's a non-reflective event. If the amount of backscatter goes up and you get a big reflection, a Fresnel reflection, you know, that's that's a connector and, and a reflective event. Um, so again, you know, they, they basically do the same thing. One of the most confusing things about the OTDRs for uh, new folks and some of the folks that have been using these a while are what are called gainers and losers. So we're gonna talk about those today and what causes those. So, created a fiber for us to look at. This is just a ginormous, uh, for intent purposes, for our exercises here, this is just a gigantic fiber. Um, what it is is just a, a polycarbonate, clear polycarbonate tube, nothing inside of it, and then we'll put light in on the end here, and then we'll be able to see that. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to have to dim lights down so we'll get a better representation. So we'll turn off our, uh, our lights, and now we can see that we have our fiber going all the way down here. Okay, let's turn on the light, hit the laser on here. Again, all I'm using right now, just for demonstration purposes, is a uh, high-powered visual fault locator, a VFL light. And so, again, what we're seeing here is a level of backscatter throughout the, the entire fiber. Um, the tape right here is, is to basically give us um, a splice, okay, and let us know where that would be. So, again, what we're seeing is pretty even backscatter all the way through. So if we did a splice here, we have a consistent level of Rayleigh scattering returning back to the OTDR. So assume the light that's being put in here is the OTDR. And we have a consistent amount of light being sent back to the OTDR. So the OTDR is going to come through the splice. The drop in backscatter on either side of that would be how much light we've lost or the, the splice loss. So for this exercise, we'll say that an excellent splicer did this, and we got a 0 .00, all right? So let me add some backscatter into this end, and so we're going to go ahead and add the backscatter here, and what we're going to see is a higher level of backscatter at this point. When we get to the splice, the light will diminish. It will get lower. Once that light gets lower there, that is going to be what we're going to call a loser, right? So again, the OTDR reports back based on or, or uh, creates a trace based on how much light is returning to the OTDR. So if that light level drops, then that denotes a loss in the fiber. So macroband, fusion splice, some kind of non-reflective loss. If that light level went up, such as a gainer, what it would say is the OTDR will interpret that as a gain in power. And again, there's no way that the light can gain power in the fiber without amplification. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some backscatter and we'll see what we're, uh, what we're talking about here. As you can see on this point here, we have what would be in real fiber a greater backscatter uh, coefficient. In other words, there's there's more germanium in here that's, that's causing more light to be reflected back. When we get down to this fiber here, this side is less backscatter, so it has a lower density of germanium in it. And the light's still coming through, if you can see this on the hand. You know, we're still getting light coming through, it's just that the backscatter is lower. So what would happen is as light would traverse this fiber and come up to this splice, it's getting a lot of backscatter reported, then as it gets to this point, there's less backscatter, which means that we had a loss in power. So this is what we would consider in uh, our OTDR a loser. Now, if we turn this around 
and put the light on the other end, then what we would get is a gainer. So I'll flip this down to the other end of our, of our fiber here. And what's going to happen now is that light is coming in and as it gets to this point right at the splice we start to see a greater uh, backscatter coefficient so the backscatter is higher so as the lights coming in and it hits the splice point what happens is it gets an increase in the backscatter so the light looks like it got brighter but it didn't it's just that more light is being sent back and reported back to the OTDR so the deal with this is, is that on both ends, the light power never changed. All that changed was the two dissimilar fibers and the amount of light that's being returned back to the OTDR's backscatter. Again, this is Rayleigh backscatter. The amount that's reported back and the OTDR just interprets that as a gain in power or a loss of power. So again, I wanted to take you through the math on this, and I've set up um, a, we'll call it a faux uh, bidirectional OTDR shot. So um, on this green trace, we have the B to A shot, and on the black trace, we have the A to B shot. And notice that we have alignment of a couple um, events here. So four and five, I've manually linked these together. But when we look down in this event table here, uh, event 4 and Event 5, as we go across, it shows our location, the loss of um, the A to B, the loss of the B to A, and then averages that out bidirectionally. So once again, that math works out to be um, you know, where we would take a 0.168, and then we would add the 0 0.107 negative, equals and then divide that by two equals and 0 0.030 so again that's our that's our true splice loss there and uh, that's how we arrive at that and so again this is this is something that we need to pay attention to uh, when we're testing not only when we're splicing and, and hoping to alleviate extra work but the knowledge of, of this in testing so that we're not out there calling out splicers to try to rectify issues that are merely anomalies within the fiber itself that we have no control over. So I hope all this was kind of um, educational for you. I hope this made sense. Anyway, like, subscribe, uh, visit our new site, Vantech Online Learning for um, fiber training, copper training, XDSL, etc. And until next time, we'll see you later. Be safe. Thank you. Thank you.